hi everyone and welcome so in this video what we are going to do is we are going to read the holding register values of our Morbus slave device in raspberry pi pico w with ttl to rs485 converter using micropython so we will uh, use micropython to program these things we will use raspberry pi pico w as a main controller and we will use ttl to rs485 converter to uh, in, uh, interact with Morbus serial or you can say more of a slave devices okay so here you can see this is our raspberry pi pico w this is our rs485 to ttl converter and this is the usb to serial converter so i am going to simulate more of a slave device in my system and i'm going to provide the holding register data via this usb to serial converter to this ttl to rs485 converter okay so if you have any physical mode based device then instead of this atc converter you just have to use this two cable to connect with your device okay it can be a plc or, or it can be any sensor anything you have you just have to use this two cable to connect with your mode based rs485 device that's it okay so i don't have uh any device which can provide me data on holding register so that is why i'm going to simulate those data in my system and then after we are going to read the data in raspberry pi pico w and in the next video uh, we are going to use the sht20 temperature and humidity sensor which is providing data on input register so instead of uh, this atc converter we are going to connect the temperature and humidity sensor and we are going to read the input register data in raspberry pi pico w uh, with the same setup so this setup will remain same you just have to change this two cable okay so if you are going to read the data from energy meter then just connect this two cable to your energy meter if you are going to read the data from your plc just connect this two cable to your plc and if you're reading the data from any sensor then connect this two cable to your sensor okay make sure uh, of polarity a and b so I hope this thing is clear and I have already uh, attached the diagram you can see this is our Raspberry Pi Pico W this is the TTL to RS485 converter at the end you just have to uh, connect your RS485 device connection okay I'm sorry yeah you just have to connect your RS485 device connection you can see A and B okay so that's it so let's see how you can uh, read it so first of all I have to create a Morbus slave device okay so i have to simulate morbus slave device so i'm going to use morbus slave software for simulation so in the setup i have to go to slave definition we are going to simulate the holding register values so i have to select the function code 3 for holding register uh, starting address is 0 number of quantity i want to simulate is 10 and then okay in the connection i have to click on connect then after we are going to simulate our uh, you know Morbus slave device on the com port so in th on the which com port we are going to simulate the device so i have to select it here so this com3 is connected to my raspberry pi pico w and this com7 is connected to this atc converter so i'm going to select the com7 here and the baud rate is 9600 data bit 8 parity none and the stop bit 1 okay that's it i can press okay you can see my device is simulating I can you know auto increment the first holding register now we can read this holding register data in the raspberry pi pico w and if you want to send to mqdt or if you want to display it on some screen then also we can do it it's up to us how we want to program us but this is the main concept that we want to read the holding register data of our morbus uh, serial device or you can say morbus slave device so our slave device is simulating now we want to program our raspberry pi pico w which uh, in the way it can read this data so here is the code okay we just have to copy paste the code in the thony so i can copy the code i can open thony micropython id i can paste the code here you can see uh, it is connected on the com3 you can see micropython raspberry pi pico connected on com3 okay now let's understand the code so we have imported the necessary functions and library uh, here you have to define the pins for your morbus communication so pin number zero and pin number one as you can see here pin number zero pin number one okay it's a map to one and two that's fine and starting address we want to read is zero so we are going to read the data from starting address which is zero number of quantity we are going to read is three okay so this three data will be available uh, when we run this code okay so 
Raspberry Pi Pico W will send the request via this chip to this converter that I want first three holding register. So it will, uh, our Morbus slave device will respond that here is your three register data and Raspberry Pi Pico W will print those values in the shell. And here we have uh, our RTU master. So we have to use Raspberry Pi Pico as a master device. And here is a slave device. Okay, slave device is the kind of server and master device is kind of client. So client will request the data to server. So same way master device will request the data to the slave and slave will provide the data to the master device. So Raspberry Pi Pico W will act as a master and uh, we have to match the baud rate, data bit, stop bit and parity. You can see baud rate 9600, you can see 9600 baud rate, data bits 8, parity none, okay, parity none and the stop bit 1, okay. So this is how we have created the code. Then after in the while loop, we are trying to read the holding register data on the slave address 1. You can see slave address 1, okay. And the starting address, which I have already specified above, starting address is 0. And quantity, we have already specified that we are going to read 3 quantity. Okay, so that's it. And uh, yeah, we are going to print the data in the shell at every 5 seconds. So if you want to print the data at every 1 second, then you can change it to 1. Okay, that's it. So I hope everything we have covered from the blog. We have connected these two things. We have set up the hardware. We have connected our Morbus slave device connection to this chip. That's done. Uh, yeah, library. So make sure in the tools, in the manage packages, you have this MicroPython Modbus library installed. Okay. If it is not installed, then you have to install it. Okay. That's it. And then after you just have to copy paste the code, you have to change whatever you want to change. And then after you have to run it. So that's very easy. Now I can run it. Okay. Let me adjust. So I can run it here. You can see 470, 473, 475, 477. Okay, it will read data at every one second. Though it's a serial communication, it will have some delay in the data reading. Okay, so it will not match the exit value from here to here. Okay, but still it is reading the data. Okay, so this is how you can use Raspberry Pi Pico W to read the data from any of your Modbus serial device. Okay, or you can say Modbus slave devices. It can be your energy meter, it can be your PLC, it can be your sensor, or it can be any simulated device as well. After reading the data, you can, you know, publish the data to MQTT, you can attach the display and you can display the data to your screen. So you can have, you know, a remote monitoring solution for kind of thing. And if you want to increase the length, okay, right now we are reading the three data, but if you want to increase the quantity, then also you can do it. So let me auto increment this one. Let me auto increment this one. And also let me auto increment this one and let me value, write the value 99. Okay, now we are going to read all the 10 data. So instead of three, I'm going to write 10 here and I'm going to run the code again. You can see we are having nine values okay and the last value is 99 you can see here so this is how you can you know read data from any modbus slave device with the raspberry pi pico w you have to buy this chip this chip is very you know cost effective so you don't have to worry about it it's uh maybe 30 to 40 rupees in india so it's a very cost effective chip and this Raspberry Pi Pico W is also cost effective. So you don't have to worry about it. You can uh, create your custom solution based on this. And this Raspberry Pi Pico W is also capable to connect with the Wi-Fi. So you, after reading this data, you can convert your uh, Morbus serial data to MQTT data. Okay, so that is also possible. So I hope this thing is clear and I have mentioned everything in this blog. You can you know follow this blog. You can check for the connection diagram, you can copy paste the code, you can use it. And if you are not aware that which library you want to install, you can watch this video. Here I have explained which library you want to, you have to install in Raspberry Pi Pico W. Okay. And in the next video, we are going to uh, read the data from sensor. Okay. It's our SHT20 sensor. Let me show you that.
So in the next video, we are going to read the data from this sensor. It's XYMD02 Modbus transmitter, Modbus serial transmitter, which is transmitting the temperature and humidity data on the input resistor. So right now we are reading the data from holding resistor. As you can see here, host dot read holding resistor. But when we want to read the data from this sensor, uh, we have to use input resistor because this sensor is providing data on input resistor so that thing we are going to see in the next video uh, till then if you have any question or any doubt then you can always ping me on telegram instagram whatsapp also you can comment on this video you can also send a mail you can ping me on linkedin everywhere so we will meet you in the next video till then take care goodbye and thank you